Welcome back to another Glenn Plays Monday. Uh, we're continuing our Star Wars marathon. We only got a few more games left in my collection, so uh, this is Star Wars Episode One: Jedi Power Battles. We just did a shit ton of other Star Wars games on multiple systems. This is Jedi Power Battles for the first PlayStation, which was a, to my recollection, was a pretty good game. I played this a lot along with Episode One: Racer when I was a kid. I guess we have to start a new game because I lost all my save files over the year. Um, do I want to do Jedi mode or easy mode? Let's do Jedi mode and see me fail a bunch, huh? <laughs> I'm hoping this boots up because the disc was a bit scraped up, so this might be a really short video. Okay, it booted up. Uh, what's cool about this is you can be any one of the Jedi from Star Wars Episode One. I think it might be Qui Gon Jinn though, because I really I liked Liam Neeson in Episode One, even though his character kind of sucked. Well, I, I, I wouldn't say sucked, but I think we pretty much just go through the whole movie of Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace as the Jedi character. All right, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, we already know all that. We just want to get to the fucking game. <laughs> There's that Trade Federation battleship that everyone loved so much from the first movie. Okay, sweet, it booted up. So if I remember correctly, I think I did have problems. Okay. Okay, I gotta relearn the controls here, people. Okay, circles jump. Okay, the, the joystick is kind of weird. I thought there was like a, a homing, a homing, not a homing attack, but okay, I cannot fucking. God damn it! I cannot fucking face these guys. Dude, like seriously, face him! Face him! Why won't you face the fucking droid and then kill him? Ugh, fucking shit, like... He just, uh, like, will not f face the... F okay, finally, I fucking killed the goddamn thing. And the, the controls don't seem terrible, and the graphics are actually pretty good for uh, for the PlayStation. All right, they got that attack. Triangle does this like weird spinny like attack thing. You know, okay, now I can't hit this guy either. Okay, there we go. Okay, L1 blocks. Okay, I know. Aw, oh, sweet. Okay, that was cool. I don't he, When he... Did you hear... You guys hear that? Like, when he collects a power-up, he's like... Mur, mur, mur. I, I think that's cool though when you block, he like reflects the shots back to the droids. I hate that shit though, like it's so hard to like face these guys sometimes, because the controls are kind of weird, like the joystick controls. Like, like it's, he, they run with you, and by the time you have a chance to turn around, like he's, you know, you have to like take a hit almost. 
Hey, I did this in Jedi mode. I'm not really noticing like a huge uh, spike in difficulty. They just the ro the droids just take more hits, but I'm not really losing a ton of health every time I get hit. I do I do like the the moves that uh, Guagon has. It's pretty neat. You get I. What, as, if I can remember playing this, uh, the, the other Jedi's don't really have much of a difference in the moves. You got like this double jump here. I think you get. Where's the good? I think you can kill the good droid too. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you even get points for doing it, like plus ten. You just killed a good guy. You get points for killing the good guys too. That does not sound like Liam Neeson when he gets hit. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I talked about episode one a little bit when I was playing the racer game and how it was like kind of a mediocre Star Star Wars movie. Lackluster, but if I can say one thing, I thought it was better than episode two. Like, whenever I. God damn it. There you go. What's cool about this game, too, is you can destroy the environment. I thought that was pretty neat. But going back to the movies, like, yes, yeah, Star Wars Episode Two. whenever I think of the prequel trilogy, that's always the one I tend to forget because it just felt like all filler. Like, it, it just, you had that stupid, stupid-ass fucking, like, romance bullshit. I, I don't, I don't mind romantic uh, stories and movies if they're done well, and that one just wasn't. George Lucas trying to do, like, a romantic story just didn't, turn out right. That's all I could say about it is that it was just shitty. <laughs> Episode 3 still probably remains my favorite of the pre- I think it remains everyone's favorite as far as the prequel trilogy movies go. Come on! Oh god. Why do why do I have a recollection of playing this game better when I was a kid? Like I just do. I can use the D-pad, but then I can't. Okay, the D-pad is working out better, but then you have to hold an extra button to run because I'm playing this on a PlayStation 2, and I got the PlayStation uh, 2 controller, and uh, the the joystick seems to be working out like shit. But if I hold R2, then I can run. If I just use the regular uh, the regular uh, dual shock joystick, he'll keep running, and it's harder to face my enemies. Oh, this bullshit! Where I had to jump up there. I never could like. Okay, this time I did it, but I, I was never good at like judging my distance on this thing. And there's battle droids back there. That's gonna blow. And I knew that was gonna happen. Die, you fucking asshole! How can they take that many hits in the movies that they, they didn't? You almost like you almost like play baseball with your lightsaber with these guys. You gotta you gotta block just at the right time as soon as they're shooting at you. I find it's, it's 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 easier to do that too. It's easier just to sh uh, reflect their shots back at him and kill him that way. And I'm gonna kill C-3PO. Only I didn't kill C-3PO. I destroyed the computer right next to him. And when I. Th when I think about it though, episode one wasn't like the worst thing ever. Like, I've seen worse movies. 
But episode two is probably the one I hate the most out of the prequel trilogy movies. I mean, don't don't get me wrong, the prequel movies weren't that good, you know. Like, but episode three is probably the best one. Oh boy, I have a feeling this is gonna be shitty. Yeah, it's a boss battle. Uh, fuck. I'm gonna die because I fucking forgot what I'm doing. I forgot how to kill this guy. Like, I haven't played this in such a long time. And, yep. Okay, I destroyed one of his arms and now I just got hit pretty bad. And I got hit pretty bad again. what this thing is it's like some sort of a, a platform droid like he's got like his big thing on his fucking face or his fucking head like there we go okay this thing is something I wanna I I'm wondering if there's like any force power that you can do I I'm not really seeing it But it's like, a lot of the other Star Wars games, there's like, you know, like, force powers and shit. Like, you could, you know, like, the Lego Star Wars games, there's a button you could press where you could just, like, push enemies out of the way. Uh, but this is just like, it just seems like it's a lot of lightsaber dueling. And this part, I remember, it really sucked. Maybe it didn't suck? I don't know. Maybe I'm making too much of this. Okay, yeah, it's not too bad. You just run across here. Okay, this part is the one that sucked. Cause you gotta memorize this. And I, I thought the floor was electrified. Okay, I gotta make a run for it. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. Yeah, I, I'm like out of fucking health, man. Like I'm almost dead. That shitty. Oh my fucking god. There's gotta be fucking health runners somewhere. Yeah, right there, if I can just make it to it. Yeah! How do you like that shit? Okay, Jedi mode isn't like... Jedi mode makes it difficult just because of how many fucking hits these guys take. Like. I'm not noticing that your health drains any quicker, it's just... And the, the boss didn't seem as bad, either. I'm gonna die, like... Fucking die, you piece of shit! Oh god, like... Okay, now I gotta jump on, like, these things. I think this video's going on long enough. So I'm probably gonna end it pretty soon. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh... Jedi Power Battles for the PlayStation. Uh, I... I think this is a pretty fun game yet. Now that I... Now that I play it again... Uh, it, it's very entertaining. It, it makes me wanna keep playing it. Definitely one of the better... Star Wars games, other than uh, some of the ones that have come out in recent years, like uh, Force Unleashed and stuff. Oh, I just want health. I just want health. I, I died. Yeah, yeah. I... Yeah, and that we, I think we're gonna end the video right there. Star Wars Jedi Power Battles. G good graphics and gameplay for the original PlayStation. It's a very enjoyable game. I don't, I don't know how much this game costs, but I'd recommend buying it if you see it on eBay or, or a game store. A very fun Star Wars game. But uh, we're almost done with this Star Wars marathon of Glenn Plays videos every Monday. We got one left. 
We're gonna do the Star Wars The Force Unleashed for PlayStation 2. I got Star Wars Lego games, but everyone knows about those, and I I am so fucking sick of Legos and Lego games, and I bitched about Lego Dimensions a lot. That's part of why I'm sick of fucking Legos. I can't fucking stand Legos anymore. I played through Lego Jurassic World. Lego Dimensions was like the nail in the fucking coffin for me and Legos. I can't fucking stand Legos anymore, so we're, we're not even going to go into the Lego Star Wars games. And uh, <laughs> that, that that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Go watch one of my other videos. I'll see you next week. May the Force be with you.